Hey guys, it's Kai. And this video is how to sharpen and export an image for Instagram. The first thing you want to do is check if the image is in focus. You should do this before even editing a photo. Find the center and the area of detail. Look at the edges. You can see that here, there's clear separation and there's no drag or blur. Then you will look through the corner. The details in the corner is also very important. Sometimes the middle might be in focus, but the outer areas might not. And as you can see here, the mountains are in focus. So now we will sharpen this image, go to filters, and then click camera raw filter. Camera raw is the same as Lightroom, just follow the settings and you can produce the same results. We will first start in the basic tab. Just go to the bottom, you will see the texture slider and the clarity slider. The first thing we do is we would zoom in our photo, find an area we want to focus on. For this image, we'll focus on the house. I personally start with the texture slider. I just slide it back and forth to get a good sense of what it looks like. And then just slowly move to the direction that you think you want more of. And I will stop at 59. For every image, it's different. So if your image is softer, you would raise your texture more. If your image is already quite harsh and sharp, then you would do it a bit less. You want to be careful with the edges because sometimes when you do too much of this slider, you might get a clear white separation between most of the time the mountains and the sky. But for this photo, we can see that there's no clear white band. So this setting for a 59 is fine. Once we introduce clarity, you're going to see that little white um, band. But normally if I raise texture, I would decrease clarity because when you raise clarity, I feel like this image just does not look natural. And because I'm sharpening with texture, I want to soften with clarity. That's a kind of like a rule of thumb I kind of do. Once this is done, I would go to the third tab, which is the detail tab. And here you can see the slider for sharpen. You can think of this as texture. So if your image is very soft, you would raise this more and vice versa. You can see this slider is actually bringing out a lot more separation and making the details very eye-catching. Because this image is soft, we can go a little crazy. One thing to note, and it's very important, is that all these settings are for Instagram. Editing for, let's say, a desktop picture or a large print, I personally would not recommend these because the image will be too sharp at this point. We are done sharpening, so let me just show you the before and after. This is the before. You can see that everything feels very soft and there's nothing that's eye-catching. But once you apply the sharpness, you can see the house and then you can see that you can focus on the house a lot better. Once you're happy with the sharpness, just click OK. 
one thing to note is if you zoom in, there's little areas around the tree, and that's from um, over sharpening. But because we're exporting for Instagram, the screen will the picture will be probably this big, and it's very very unnoticeable. And that's why I said do not use these settings for desktop or large resolution images because this will be a lot more obvious versus for phone viewing you can't really tell next is exporting this image for the best quality on instagram the first thing you need to know is that dimension of images for instagram is four by five because most cameras take pictures at four by six so you would need to crop it a bit to do that, just go to image, canvas, find your width and multiply it by 1.25. This will give you the height. Once you put it in, just click okay. Next, you would have to adjust your resolution. So here, if you see 300, just make it 72, then click OK. Now, just go to File, and we're going to export the image. So find the Export tab. Go to Save for Web. Here, on the second dropdown, click JPEG. Make sure it's maximum, quality 100, blur 0. So down here on image size, you want to change the width to 1080. As long as this is clicked, the height will automatically change by itself and the height should be 1350. Sometimes when you're decreasing your image size, it might become 1351 or maybe 1349. Just manually change it to 1350 and you can do that by clicking the lock again. So this is when it's locked and when you click it again, it will be unlocked. So when you change one, you won't change the other. Once you have 1080 and 1350, just click save and then find the place you want to put the image and just click save after or give it a name as well. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest some video tutorials, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and have a great day.